to understand the hydraulic transmissions, the automatic transmission, or uh, the marine transmission, because the marine transmission finally is a combination of uh, hydraulic and mechanical. I need to explain some basic concepts about hydraulics. And I am going to explain what is the meaning of a hydraulic circuit. You remember in electricity, the, the electrical circuit? In the electrical circuit, you need the battery or the generator. You need the switch. You need the fuse. You need the load, light bulb or motor or fan. And you need the return to return to the source of power. Yes or no? This is a typical circuit, electrical circuit. In hydraulic, it's basically the same. What is the source of power in a hydraulic circuit? It's the pump. Is it the pump? And the pump is driving by, by and a motor, AC or DC motor. Ah, you need a motor, you need the pump, ah, you need the reservoir with the fluid, and you need a switch to control the flow of the fluid. And of course, you need the actuator or uh, the motor or, yeah. This is a hydraulic circuit. And of course, exactly the same like in electricity. In electricity, the circuit is not complete if you don't have the return, you remember? In hydraulic, the circuit is not complete if you don't have the return to return the fluid into the container. If not, the fluid disappears. That's okay? This is a typical hydraulic uh, uh, circuit. Let me explain what is the function of each element, the function of each component. In, in, in a hydraulic circuit, the number one is the pump. If you don't have pump, you don't have pressure. If you don't have pressure, you don't have a flow. If you don't have flow, you don't have a equipment running. Okay, that's the pump. Later, we are going to learn that uh, to select the pump, we need to know the flow in gallons per minute or gallons per hour, and you need to know the pressure. Normally, it's in PSI or bars, depending on the unit. You need to know the flow and the pressure to select the pump. And in some cases, the head. What is the meaning of the head? The distance, the maximum distance that you can reach with this pump, with the fluid. Ah, with this pump, the head maximum is 25 feet. Oh, I need another pump with higher head. Normally, you need those three information to select the pump. Ah, of course, the pump is moving because, because you have the, the motor. And, of course, to select the motor, normally you need the horsepower or you need the torque to select the proper. In the course of hydraulic, in the next coming class, we are going to select pumps and motors according with the necessity. That's, that's great? Okay, this is the pump. In this particular pump, it's a centrifugal pump, where is coming in the fluid. Look at the turbine. The fluid enter in the middle and the fluid is pressurized and goes with pressure here. Here, I have this rectangle with three sections. This is a solenoid valve. <coughs> Look, in the section of the middle, what happened? What happened with the fluid? The fluid entered here and returned. Suppose that this is, a, this is the solenoid valve that uh, controls the movement in a marine transmission forward, neutral, and reverse. What position is this? Neutral. It's neutral. It's neutral. Ah, what happened if I move it, this one and this one now is here? What happened if I move the plunger internally and now this box is here in the middle? Ah, excuse me. What happened with the fluid entering here? Go here, no? And enter here. And what happened with the cylinder? and this one will be the return into the tank. You see? Mm -hmm. What happened if I select this one here? Ah, the fluid now enter here, and this one will be the return, and the piston move it forward. Oh, nice! This one will be for forward, this one will be for reverse, and this one is neutral in the middle. Oh, wow. And how I activate those solenoids, those couple of solenoids here? one solenoid here and other solenoid here. When you select forward, you activate one solenoid for forward. When you select reverse, you activate other solenoids for reverse. Yes or not? You remember I show in one engine diesel that position, you remember? 
This is the typical marine transmission. This is a Cummins engine and uh, <clears throat> with this wonderful transmission, hydraulic transmission. And you have forward and reverse in the control, in the pilot hand. If you see, I have one solenoid for reverse and I have other solenoid for forward. And what is this? Look, this rectangle. The solenoid control valve. What is this? Pump. This is the pump. The pump to circulate the, the fluid. This is the pump. This is the gearbox. The gearbox, the pump, and the solenoid control valve. Ah, okay, pay attention. The captain said, my transmission only engage in forward, not in reverse. And you are the technician, the engineer. How you troubleshoot that problem? You need to know, excuse me, you need to know if the problem is in the control or in the, if the problem is in the harness or if the problem is on the solenoid or if the problem is on the transmissions. Okay, number one. What element you want to know, number one? I want to know if the transmission spin forward and reverse. That's number one. And after that, I go back. Okay, how can I know if the transmission is working good? The captain complained that only work in forward, not reverse. Bring power to the okay. reverse. Okay, pay attention. This is the solenoid for reverse. This is 85 and 86. You remember the solenoid? Okay, I am going to prepare a couple of alligator cable, positive and negative. And I bring, the engine is in neutral running. The engine is running. I bring power here and immediately <laughs> engage reverse. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Reverse is good. Okay, let me remove that one. And I bring power positive and negative and engage forward. And I remove the power. Okay, the transmission is good? Yes. The transmission is perfect. Let me, I, I, I connect again this, this solenoid, the solenoid for forward. Hey, captain, select forward. The captain put forward and the transmission engage. Let me put this one. Captain, select reverse. The captain select reverse and nothing. But if I have power here, directly engage reverse. Okay, I have two possibilities. One possibility is the solenoid. The solenoid is damaged? No. No, no. because when I power it here, it's working. Ah, the other possibility is the is the harness. Or, or the control. Simple, simple. This is the solenoid control box, exactly like I did in the, in the, in the picture. This is the pump, and this is the gearbox. You like it? Look at this transmission. What is this? Pump. pump. The pump. Later, we are going to learn the other name for this one is PTO. Power takeoff. Power takeoff. All right. What is this? Solenoid. Solenoid for forward, and this one? Reverse. Solenoid for reverse. And I don't have the harness because I don't have connected the control. It's exactly the same, and this is other. And what is this? Fill, food fill. To fill the oil. And this one? The deep stick. The pump, look, output, high pressure, and return. Ah, look, the output goes here. What is this? The cooler. The cooler for the, the transmission cooler. oil. And from the cooler, return in the transmission. Hmm. Why I need pass this oil through this cooler? What happened internally when when the oil is pressurized for the pump? What happened with the oil? The temperature, the temperature increased dramatically. What happened when the when the if, if you pass this one directly here with no with no cooler? The oil is is too hot and suddenly the transmission is blocked. For that reason, it's a good idea reduce the temperature with the cooler and return here. Remember that uh, in this plate, in this plate you have what? Is is the is the train of uh, gears, no? Crunch up, cam up, pam 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 pam, and you have uh, here one space to introduce one pump, other PTO, and I introduce that pump here for what? Other hydraulic for system. other hydraulic system in my boat, yeah. for example Davids, for example Pasarelas, is with that PTO. Ah, in my, in my boat, I have two PTOs. 
one in each engine. One is used for passarellas and David, and the other one for bow thruster and steam thruster. Or only one big one. You connect one big one. Ah, of course, those hydraulic systems work only if the starboard engine is running. But the captain knows that. Ah, I am going to dock. I am going to use the passarella. Ah, I need the starboard engine. I, let me start the starboard engine because the captain knows that.